YouTube star MK Slot was arrested alongside four others on November 30th, 2023, in an ongoing narcotics investigation in Irondale. Per multiple reports, the YouTuber was arrested after the Leeds Police Department Operation Support Unit, also known as SWAT, and the Irondale Police Department issued a search warrant for a home in the 2200 block of the 5th Avenue, South Irondale. The warrant led to the discovery of illicit items, including weapons, methamphetamines, fentanyl, drug paraphernalia, and stolen property. The 23-year-old YouTuber MK Slot, whose real name is Markel Holmes, was arrested and charged with two counts of drug trafficking and unlawful possession of paraphernalia. According to ABC, the Instagram star is being held at the Jefferson County Jail on a 2006 bail. The other four suspects arrested in the case were identified as Markel Fielder, Amber Roselle, Kiera Williams, or Marquises Holmes. All the suspects were slammed with multiple weapons and drug possession charges and are in custody at the Jefferson County Jail. Now, so that is crazy. Oh, man. MK, whose real name is Markel Holmes, was taken into custody alongside Markel Fielder and the rest. A search warrant for a home in Irondale led to the discovery of multiple illegal items, including weapons and drugs. WBRC detectives said that officers were recovered multiple fully automatic w weapons, excuse me, equipment believed to be used to modify semi-automatic weapons to fully automatic, also known as the switches. I think that's what the young boys call them nowadays, the, the switches, right? Um, stolen property, fentanyl methamphetamines, other narcotics, and drug paraphernalia. Now, oh man, now fentanyl, oh my God, someone who deals with fentanyl very closely being that um, have family members that suffer from addiction and the choice of drug is fentanyl and the way it's affected me, my family, I'll tell you what, man, fentanyl is, it's the devil in a pill form, right? And, um... I'm not no better than nobody. I've dealt with my own situations. I've been um, drank and all that. I know, you know what I mean? So, but fentanyl, I tell you, is a different, it's a different thing. It's a whole different world. I mean, but anyways, man, like, comment, subscribe to help me retire my mama. But shortly after their arrest in a statement, lead police chief Irwin said, it is obvious from the items recovered that these individuals were inside a residence which was packaging narcotics for sale and modifying firearms to make them fully automatic. He added, these firearms and illegal narcotics are destroying lives in our society. I want to let our officers know what a difference it makes when we remove these criminals from our area. Man. Like literally, he was one of my, he still is, he's literally one of my favorite content create comedian content creators like for someone who deals with chronic depression and just being able to go to his page and just know that i can get a good laugh for about a minute or two that is genuinely something to be appreciative about now i don't know what he does behind closed doors till this day obviously and hearing that he is involved with these kind of things um I've seen other tweets and stuff saying that he has been involved with this type of stuff since a very young age. So it seems like maybe he didn't have the guidance needed, but he has over a million subscribers. And I don't think that it is money motivated because anyone who knows anything about YouTube, a million subscribers is enough to feed you and your family. Right. I don't think he's demonetized. I don't think. Um. I'm trying to figure out what it is that can lead someone down that path. Now, again, maybe it's something he's done since a very young age and that those type of habits are, are very hard to um, are very hard to shake. So I can understand that. And then on top of that, like it might be stress. It might be peer pressure. It might be maybe the financials isn't what we might think it is like the Fetty Wap situation. Someone who was, was on top of the world, billboard hits platinum songs and then you read an article about them being involved with the heavy heavy drug trafficking so i'm curious to hear well you know mk is not a serious person he doesn't come off of that i'm sure all of us have um a side of us that we display to the public but in actuality i would love to hear him be serious about this i would love to hear him sit down and have an actual interview now, again, he has made his character such a strong 
persona on the internet that it's kind of hard for him to not be his character and being that the only time that we as viewers see him is in character right so i genuinely fear feel feel for the guy being that he's giving me a lot of laughs right in dark times so i genuinely rock with the guy hopefully you know this is a learning lesson hopefully he can bounce back from this and i mean bounce back from it but the crazy part is like y'all he has so i was reading his bond and the other people's bond and the difference is i mean i think that they just know how much of a bag he's getting because look 25 year old mark kelfelder of irondale charged with two counts of drug trafficking unlawful possession controlled substance now they're all pretty similar charges right might be one or two charges added or subtracted from each person but they're all very similar and he got three million he is being held at jefferson county jail on a three million dollar bond the girl, 23-year-old Amber Rozell, is being held on a $111,000 bond. 29-year-old Kiera is being held on $106,000. 23-year-old Markel is being held on $2 million bond. And 21-year-old Marquise Harris is being held on a $100,000 bond. So, like, they knew. They, it's they've been doing investigation there's some detectives here that have been gathering information because they know off rips yeah we're gonna put his bond at three million while there's other people who have more charges than him so um some people are throwing out conspiracy theories because he did just put out a song called the demon slayer and he is preaching for god and all that stuff so some people are saying that could be it too but I doubt that, like, in all reality, people are like, well, he made a song about about God and pushing peace and all that stuff, and this happens not too much a week later, but at the end of the day, a song isn't going to make a big difference if someone is caught in a home that's dealing fentanyl and methamphetamines, you know? But um, what's your favorite video by him? For me, it's the ops one. It's the when the ops pass away, he's like, wow. He gets into talking about how uh, it's not even a funny situation or funny matter, but it just speaks to how great of a performer he is. He's like, oh, man, I miss little JJ. Man, what are we going to do now? All the ops did. Man, and he's literally playing about something so serious, but he is he's something else, man. But um, what do y'all think about this situation, man? Are y'all shocked as I am being that he has over a million subscribers, so money can't be the motive? And is it influence? What do y'all think it is, man? Let me know something. Drop some comments in the comment section.